Hey guys, um, it's been of a bit of a roller coaster for me today, um, emotionally. I got a call from um, the surgeon or the surgeon's office, and um, I think on my last video I had said that they were um, going to have to figure out how to um, deal with my factor five and my blood thinners and such, and. Um, they said that they would probably have to um, have me go two days prior so I can be on IV heparin. Um, but um, I got a call from them today saying that that would not be the case, that um, Dr. Janelle, my surgeon, or supposed to be my surgeon, um, wants me to wait six months. And I was like, what? Um, that doesn't make sense. Um, my condition is not going to change. My blood problem, my factor five, is not going to change six months from now. It's not going to change a year from now. It's not going to change 30 years from now. There is nothing they can do to change it. So me waiting six months is not going to do anything not anything beneficial, not anything um, negative. It's just going to, it's going to be the same. There's no ifs, ands, buts about it. So I told her, the, the nurse that called me that that didn't make sense. What is the logic behind it? And um, that I have to have that CAVA filter removed within three months. And um, she said, okay, she understood. She didn't understand it under stand the logic behind it either, but she was going to talk to Dr. Janelle again and call me back. Well, she called me back and said, Dr. Janelle still thinks that you need to wait six months so you can recuperate from your last blood clot. Recuperate how? I just went to the doctors today. My blood is back to normal. There is no recuperation process. Um, I caught it in time before it did any damage to my artery. Um, recuperate how you know I said it doesn't make any sense and then she said that Dr. Janelle also wants me to leave my Cava filter in permanently so I'm like what is going on here and I you know I want to give him the benefit of the doubt because he's a professional he's done this a long time and um, I assume he knows what he's talking about so I call my PCP and um, he was furious. He didn't think it made sense. He's like, you know, just how I thought that it's not going to make a difference if he did it tomorrow or, or a year from now or six months from now or three years from now. I'm going to be at the same risk. I'm going to have the same problems. It just needs to be done while I have this filter in. And for the doctor or for the surgeon to tell me that the CAVA filter needs to be in for my lifetime is ridiculous because what happens is being that I'm prone to blood clots um, those filters they leave them in older patients and they leave them um, in patients that are at risk for blood clots for other reasons not because you have a blood disease if you get chronic blood clots what happens is with that filter the blood just keeps um, piling up onto that filter and it can um, grow into your insides or whatever and it will not it can't be removed so or cleaned or anything like that so that's why they do not recommend to leave it in younger patients or people that get frequent blood clots like myself so um, he's like you need to find a different surgeon this surgeon has no idea what factor 5 is about and all he's hearing is that you had a blood clot he doesn't apparently does not understand your condition and so I was like, okay, and you know, I, I was like, okay, I'm going to call the radiologist now and see what the radiologist thinks, because the radiologist is the one that stressed to me that it needed to be removed within three months. And so I called the radiologist, and he said absolutely not, that I signed a contract that it was going to be removed within three months, and it has to be removed within three months, and that is for my own benefit that I'm at too much risk to leave it in there permanently. And so, here we are.
I was called my surgeon back, the surgeon's office back, and they talked to Dr. Janelle again, and he insists to wait six months. No reason, no logical reason he could give me other than make me wait. So I said, you know what? Send me my records. I am going to find a different surgeon. So I've been calling around today, and I've got a few callbacks um, from surgeons, and none of them agree with what Dr. Janelle has said. None of them agree with waiting six months, and none of them agree with leaving my Cava filter in permanently. So um, I have a lady that's going to be calling me back on uh, Wednesday or Thursday to give me more information, but um, everywhere I talk to, they have to, of course, call me back. they got to find out when they can get me in. And um, luckily, I won't have to do any of my stuff all over again. They're all um, center of excellences, and actually a couple, of, a couple of them use the same program as Dr. Janelle, but they're just different surgeons, so that's a good thing. And um, hopefully I'll get this ball rolling and um, get it done. I know it's going to be done. I know it will, will be done sooner than six months. And I'm very comfortable with finding a different surgeon because I... In my heart, I feel that Dr. Janelle has no clue about Factor Five, And um, I trust my PCP, and I trust the radiologist that w is a specialist in camera filters over a bariatric surgeon. Um, I have my main concerns are my Factor Five, and obviously this cava filter that's in me because it needs to be removed if, if the specialist is telling me that it needs to be removed in three months it needs to be removed in three months I'm not going to let a bariatric surgeon tell me how to deal with my other health problems or how to um, how factor five is supposed to be when he obviously knows nothing about it so um, I'm very upset I feel like I wasted a lot of time Thankfully, the only thing that they're going to make me do at another um, center of excellence is the pre-op class, which I haven't done yet, so in my eyes, no lost time. I'm good to go. Um, they also, two places have also told me that they will get me on their cancellation list, so anybody that cancels, I can get in sooner, so um, hopefully we will get it done before my three months is up, because I do want to leave the cava filter in during um, surgery and so that's really important to me and I um, hopefully we can figure it out but that's all I have for now I will give you guys an update as soon as I have one but I will talk to you guys later and um, 